Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate GitHub with Slack. First things first, we want to create ourselves an account at GitHub or log in to our existing account. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, this integration by using third-party application. So it's uh, maybe easier and faster for you to make this integration happen. In this case, uh, I'm going with automate.io. I will leave the, uh, the description underneath this video. And once we are at automate.io, uh, we want to go to integrations on the top corner of our screen. Click on integration and move to see all categories on the bottom left corner. Once we are in here at app integrations, we want to start writing down the first app that we want to integrate, which is GitHub. Once we chose GitHub, let's go and pick its counterpart, which will be Slack. So we just basically write down Slack. Now, Automate.io is providing us with some pre-made integrations uh, for us so we can choose from. For example, send a direct message in Slack on a new issue on GitHub and so on and so on. But if we won't be able to find the integration that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so uh, you can scroll down to create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the trigger, you want to start with the GitHub first. So let's go with a new issue as a first option. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with the Slack. Um, yeah, I just went with first option as well. All we have to do now is we have to click the try it now button. And as you can see, the last thing we have to do, we have to log in or register on our automate.io account. Uh, and we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is uh, basically very similar app to automate. Uh, we also need to create an account here. And once we are here, let's go to the top left corner and create this app. Once we're in here, we have to set up a trigger. Uh, we uh, are going to address the first app. Once again, will be GitHub. We have to pick the trigger event. So let's stick with the first one, continue. And the last thing we have to sign in to GitHub account. On the second action, uh, we should really, as you probably thought, go for Slack. We also have to manually choose an event. We hit continue. And the last thing we have to log in to our Slack account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.